Greetings YouTube. So I have a chair problem. This is not working. The top of these two bolts. Um, I went to tighten it because it was getting sloppy and the bolt snapped off on me. I attempted to take out the section of the broken bolt and I was able to drill into the broken section and then I have an extraction tool but the extraction tool walked that way and because this is just plastic it walked into the into the plastic so there's no way I'm getting that thing out of there ever so I can't just put a new bolt in and solve this problem and I'm hesitant to tighten this one up at all so it's, at the moment it's just acting as kind of like a, a stop but I don't want it to be doing this because it's, it's way too low I need it to be here not here so I need to come up with a support so I have this piece of square stock tubing here so my goal is going to be bring this up here and to do this essentially I'm turning a chair that doesn't have a support into a chair that has a support um, so my the reason I'm using this as opposed to a piece of flat stock and I actually own some flat stock but the flat stock is slated for another project this tubing is not also, I think I can end up with a cleaner, a cleaner job this way because I need to just create a hole here, just about the same diameter as the piece of tubing. Um, and this is just plastic, so I should be able to drill into that without any difficulty. Create a a uh, a, uh, a hole here just so that it sits on it, and then there's a small lip here. This piece of decorative beading, um, which I will have to machine out which I can probably just use my, my Dremel tool for that one. Maybe just use a, a chisel to demarcate the, the two sides I want to take out and then to clean out the rest of the mill. I may only just use a chisel entirely. I don't know. We'll see. And then I drill one hole here so that I can put a, put a hole through the tubing and then just go and then hold it in place. Now, it is not going to be giving me as much... I'm hopefully not going to be putting a lot of pressure on it when I get up. I'm going to have to keep remembering reminding myself not to do that because I don't want to pull the screw out of this. But this is pretty thick in here. This is this is that wide right there. So if I can get the screw to go in, uh, I'll have to drill the hole here first, locate the distance I want, and then mark where I want to um, put in the uh, the hole in the tubing, drill the hole in the tubing, and then after I'm done, cut off the tubing. Because the last thing I will do is cut the tubing to length. Um, and do that, I should be able to get a, get a, just a very small uh, hole here, and then just use a wood screw to go right in there. And uh, chunk right into there, and then not have to worry about it. Um, and I should be able to do that without too much difficulty. I should be able to chamfer the metal so that the that the screw I use, which is probably going to be a, uh, a standard wood screw, will sit in the hole nice and flush. I also have some bushings I might be able to use if I want to, if I want to grip the outside of the tubing and also give it a relatively clean finish so it won't look too horrible. And just make sure I knock all the edges and such off the tubing so that there aren't any sharp edges. Because, you know, you, if you leave a sharp edge, your cat's going to come up and go... Oh, 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 and rub themselves on in a way you don't want them to. So, And I have been covering this, these with towels anyway because this is, a, this is very uncomfortable. Put your arm on, particularly in the warmer weather. So these are, these are nice. I can take them off. I can clean them. I can put them back um, when I want to when I, when I, when when get them clean. So... Just need it doesn't have to come all the way up, just about here. This actually can go up too high. I don't want it to go up that high. I want it to come up to about here. And then just have enough support that will keep our arms at the right height because this is where your arm sits when you're using the mouse on that tray over there, which is where the mouse sits. So that's gonna be where I want it to rest. Alright, so first thing is gonna take out this screw. I'm going to just probably drill slightly off center because this doesn't actually line up directly in the middle of this thing. Slightly off centered. And if it isn't perfectly lined, uh, I've got some 
wiggle room here, you know what I mean? So we'll see what happens. Okay, I've made a discovery. Upon taking this off the chair and turning it over and starting to really look at it, I realized I can take the cover off completely because my concern was I would drill through the arm and hurt the surface, but I, now I can completely remove the cover. That's not an issue. It also means I have these two su these supports here. So if I drill a pilot hole through this side, just in there, so that that bit, that the, the pointy bit will come up in, in this section, and then I will be able to rest on these two supports. That would be ideal. That way I would just drill through the thickness of the flat section, come up just shy of these supports so that my square tubing will sit on these two brackets, these two, these two ribs here, that will give me the support I need and it will be completely clean. You won't see it from the outside at all. And I will be in no danger of drilling through the arm. I thought this had been a solid piece of plastic. But of course, it makes no sense to make it out of a solid piece of plastic. Solid pieces of plastic this thick are actually much more difficult to produce without warping and pitting and things like that. So it's a lot easier if you have an internal structure like this. It also means the thing is lighter and you use less material. So it makes perfect sense. So I'm now going to drill a hole through this side, which will become my pilot hole, so that I might turn it over and drill it. I will have the hole right where I want it. You can see the R designation telling me that when I assembled the chair, which was the right side and which was the left side. So I gotta tell you, I don't think you could actually assemble the chair with this thing with the arms in the wrong direction, but maybe I'm maybe I'm having a better opinion of humanity than I should. So first things up, I'm gonna be drilling that pilot hole and then drilling the recess in this which will let me whoops, there's a screw just fell out. Um, which will allow me to uh, sit on those braces without actually harming those braces. Mm-hmm, nice discovery. And there we have the relief cut that I'm looking for. And I actually didn't go all the way through, just shy of going all the way through, which is fine with me. Um, and, and the it just barely fits. It's a nice snug uh, fit in there, which is what I wanted. This is a one inch um, spay bit or paddle bit, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, and that's a, which is just the width from uh, the diagonal of the tubing. So nice and neat and tidy. I was able to drill through that hole for the pilot hole and then through this side with this bit right there. And here is the aftermath of that process. So now I need to uh, reassemble the arm uh, and then put the arm back on the chair so that, and I should not have to move it again. And then I shall figure out where I want the hole and where I, in the chair, and where I want the hole in the tubing, then drill the tubing, and then cut the tubing to length. And I'm actually not gonna have to deburr the end that's going in here. I actually wanted to have a little burr on it and help hold it in place a little bit better. I don't want it, I don't want it uber smooth. It doesn't need to be uber smooth. The other end does, not this one. So next up is gonna be to figure out uh, and mark the tubing. I'm quite happy to say that I was able to make the modification to the chair, cutting out this slot right here with nothing but my handy dandy little, um, which was used to be um, CGB, uh, you used to say CGB on here, um, X-Acto knife, uh, utility knife. I love this thing. It is so good at the light, small, handy tasks. Um, when it comes to the heavier stuff, I use the Milwaukee um, utility knife I own, but this one, when it comes to small utility tasks, this has really become my go-to uh, uh, utility knife. Picked this up at uh, Ocean State Job Lots for, I think, three bucks. Awesome buy. Next, I have already, I've already marked the tubing, so now I need to drill the hole in it, and then once I have the hole drilled, then I will be able to cut it off and then deburr the end, then do the final drilling here, um, and then do the final uh, assembly. So this is 
This is getting darn near done. And now we're outside in the brilliant sunlight. Um, so I have the hole um, drilled and chamfered slightly. I can't chamfer it as much as I might want to because the wall thickness is only you know so thick. I'm not I'm not chamfering into solid steel. Um, and I didn't bother chamfering it this side because it's going to be against the chair, so I don't care. Um, so I've marked off roughly where I want the cut, and now I've got my uh, tubing securely bolted down or clamped down to the banister. Now it's time to cut. So there we go. Here's the new support. Um, I actually didn't pre-drill this because this is a self-tapping screw designed to go into wood. I just kind of treated this thing like super dense wood, and it worked really well. I can't, I guess, a nice, a snug fit. It isn't perfectly flush, but like I said, the tubing thickness is only so thick. I can't really have that as said as flush as I'd like it to, but it is is sitting there, so it's centered, which is what I wanted. Now this thing is sitting here quite nicely, and it gives the support at the right level I want. Um, I put the sleeve on already because I, I, wouldn't, I could be lazy and not have to untie this and retie this to slide it onto the arm. I'll have to do that in the future. But uh, it just sits here. So I'm thinking I may want to use some kind of a chemical bond. Maybe some shugru. That might work. Um, shugru might be what, uh, what I need in this particular instance. Because it bonds between different materials admirably. Uh, so I may use some of that. Um, I actually have a little bit of kicking around the house, so I may use some of that. But at the moment, I'm just going to see how it works as it is. Um, yes, it means that my chair is now asymmetric. There's no support on that side, and there's a support on this side. But it, at the, this point in my life, I cannot afford to buy a new chair. It's just not in my budget. So for about an hour's worth of my time, uh, and using materials I have entirely here at the house, so I did not have to leave my property to make this adjustment, I'm good to go. So I can't, don't think I can ask for much more than that. So there you go, folks. This has been my chair repair, and uh, hopefully it will last um, well. And in, I'm, I mean, I've had this chair for 11 years, so I've gotten a lot of a lot of wear out of it. So if I can get it to go for another, you know, two or three, that would be cool.